Reversing memory damage from sleep apnea is super important. I'm going to show you what's going on and what to do about it because otherwise you may end up like Rose from the end of Titanic who only remembers one event and tries to throw a million dollar heirloom into the ocean. But, you know, she's the villain of that movie. That's a fact. Other facts include how these yellow areas here, especially towards the middle, that's the hippocampus, that has decreased activity if you have obstructive sleep apnea. Now that happens because we disrupt a normal sleep cycle in sleep apnea. Over here, this kind of part of sleep where it's more slow wave, you consolidate memories. And over here where you have more REM sleep in the second half of your sleep, that's where you'll strengthen those memories. But if we look here, up top, this is sleep apnea, down below is not sleep apnea. Uh, up top, this sucks. This is just a very bad architecture. There's very low REM sleep. You're not getting into the deeper stages. So you actually don't form memories whatsoever. But luckily, if you restore normal breathing pattern, like shown here with a CPAP, but this is also be a mouth guard or breathing exercises or losing weight, this will actually restore a normal looking uh, sleep pattern and actually help get your memory centers back online. Now, if you need help with breathing, one of the best ways is to get a personalized plan. For that, click the red button here or uh, the shop button down here or go to the website over my face. Go ahead, type that in and enjoy.